How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I decided to paint Balin the Dwarf from the Escape from Goblin Town set. As you can see this is uh, a little bit above tabletop standard without uh, the, the eyes. I didn't paint the eyes because the miniature is very very small and it's very hard to paint them from behind the camera. Anyway I think this model turned out pretty good and I hope you like this tutorial. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this video. I'm going to start with this primed miniature. I used uh, Rust-Oleum Automotive Gray Primer. And I'm going to use Buckman's Glow to start painting the skin. The paint is watered down one to one with water. And uh, I'm using a Kolinsky number no. 2 brush which will be the equivalent of maybe the uh, base coat brush from Games Workshop or the large brush. Next, I'm going to use Celestra Gray to clean up the space um, on the sides of the skin to paint the, uh, the hair. Uh, this color is not going to be very noticeable because it's almost the same color as the primer. Of course you can use any primer that you'd like better you can use the black primer although you will need uh, probably a little bit more uh, layers to cover uh, the color well over the primer. Now I'm going to use Doom Ball Brown I think that's the name and I'm going to use it all over the coat. Uh, again uh, thin down the paint one to one and just start applying it. It's a very simple step. Try to use the tip of your brush and I'm using a wet palette to hold my colors. If you don't use a wet palette I do recommend using it. It's a very very nice change. Next I'm going to use Morn Fang Brown and with this color I'm going to color in the boots. The same as the last steps we are just base coating with thin paint uh, thin one to one with water of course and then I'm going to use uh, lead belcher this color I'm going to use it for the sword Next, I'm going to wash the model. I'm going to use Rayclan Flesh Shade for the skin. Try not to pull too much of the wash, just enough to give some shadows, but not too much that you overwhelm the other the colors, shifting them too dark. And then I'm going to use Null Oil for the rest of the model. The coat, the boots, the hair, and uh, the sword. After the wash is dry, I'm going to start layering in highlights for the uh, skin. And I'm going to start with Cadian Flesh Tone and with this color I'm going to try to cover the whole area just leaving a little bit of the deepest shadows on the previous color but overall I'm trying to hit most of the skin like that next I'm going to use Kislev Flesh and I'm going to do almost the same as the last step leaving a little bit of the old color behind of the Cadian showing. Right next, I'm going to use Screaming Skull for the final highlight for the skin. And this, I'm going to use it on the very uh, highest points where the light reflects from the skin. Now, as if you can see here, uh, 
the miniature looks all right. I decided to give it a bit of a druchy violet wash to the eyes to make them darker just because I didn't want to paint them but I think I'll go back and leave them like you see them here because uh, I think that looks better for this tutorial they're going to look very dark next I'm going to start highlighting the hair with Ultland Grey so I'm going to instead of dry brushing I'm going to go in and color in each individual uh, hair strand with a detail brush because it's a very uh, different look it's a better look than uh, just dry brushing it all, all around and then I'm going to use white scar with this color I'm just going to pick up the uh, places where most light hit on the beard and on the hair. Alright, next I'm going to use Mephiston Red and with this color I'm going to start highlighting the inner parts of the robe. This includes the sleeves and of course the inner parts. Here I'm using the paint uh, diluted the same one to one with water and then I'm going to use uh, corn red to highlight the rest of the rove. This is a very uh, subtle change in red colors but they are definitely different reds and you're going to notice them better yourself when you start painting th this uh, miniature. Alright, now that that's done I'm going to use Scrag Brown and with that I'm going to highlight the boots. Then I'm going to use uh, Iron Breaker and with that color I'm going to highlight, highlight the uh, sword. Now up to this step, that I think that's enough for a good looking miniature. Although I'm going to give it a, keep a couple mi more uh, details and uh, highlights. I'm going to color uh, Mornfang Brown, uh, the little details that there are on the back of the rope up here and on the front and then I'm going to use black the I'm going to use the Vallejo model color black and I'm going to color in the places where uh, you want the details I'm trying to copy the way the miniature looks uh, in the box uh, so I'm uh, trying to emulate that just painting this parts on black leaving the uh, edges on red you could also paint them all black and then edge highlight red it's the same thing and next I'm going to give uh, an extra highlight to the inner parts of the robe and the sleeves with what was that a red trying to focus on the edges and the places there are on the top
and then I'm going to use a mix of two parts white scar and one part uh, corn red and I'm going to edge highlight the exterior part of the rope. I'm going to try to uh, hit the uh, more s the more sharpest edges and the places where you see the light really bounces off the rope and uh, I'm just going to draw lines on them. This is really going to make the rope stand out and it's going to make a difference between uh, the other red color. Next I'm going to try to make some freehand. I'm not very good at this, uh, you may notice. Uh, I just tried to make uh, black lines to, to copy the box art and then I'm going to use uh, blood letter glaze to make these colors uh, pop out a little bit and to blend the, the black color, make it a little bit more red so that, that it kind of blends into the, uh, the robe. And that's it. And that is all. I hope you liked this tutorial. I really, I'm really happy with the way this miniature turned out. It looks pretty cool. It's very, very tiny. Although the eyes are very dark at the end because I decided to paint them with uh, Druchi Violet or Drukai Violet, I don't know the pronunciation of that name. Uh, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool from the distance because uh, that's very small, but if you get closer they kind of look a little bit odd, so I, I'm gonna repaint them to look them like before. Make them look like before and I hope you like this video. Uh, Thank you very much for watching, I hope this video was informative and uh, helpful for you and uh, if you like it please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos and I uh, hope you enjoy this. Uh, thank you very much for watching, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.